Hi everybody, this is the Structures Guy. Today we're talking about the architecture and engineering of a twisting tower called Mirror Tower located in San Francisco. What makes this building structurally interesting is that it's located near the San Andreas Fault and thus it sees a lot of seismic activity. More information on the structure system later. Mira Tower is a housing development with a highly detailed twisting geometric form. The tower is made of spiraling aluminum and glass facade arranged in a collection of bay windows. The Mira Tower offers one, two and three bedroom condominiums and townhouses, all of which offer views from large windows. The Mira Tower was proposed in 2014 and construction started in 2017 and finished by the end of 2019. The building has a footprint of 50,000 square feet and totaling 700,000 cross square feet for the entire building. Mira Tower, also known as Folsom Bay Tower, is a 40-story building with a total height of 400 feet. To comply with the local constraints set by the district zoning guidelines, the initial design had a height of 300 feet. However, after a request was made to the city officials, the allowable height of the building increased to 400 feet with the condition of having 156 below market rate apartments, which is about 40% of the total units in the building. To express the geometric complexity of the building's exterior, a white curtain wall made of modular facade system consisting of families of units was created that repeats every 10 floors. Each bay is an isosceles triangle that is 14 feet wide with shifting spandrel and grazing dimension and with a maximum depth of 6.5 feet. 30 bay windows are found on each story, totaling over 1,000 bay windows across the entire building. Shifting the bay geometries is done by offsetting and repeating a set of variations every 10 floors. As a result, a profound river of architectural expression was added to the project without causing complications in fabrication and construction since each floor window bay will be fabricated four times as opposed to having a unique window bay for each floor. Also through the presence of bay units across the facade, each unit is given daylight from multiple directions. Although the architectural facade of the mirror tower is twisting, the structural system that is holding the building is not twisting, as you can see here where the exterior columns are straight and not slanted columns. I will make another video discussing the engineering of twisted structural systems for high-rises. In this facade system, the windows act like a freestanding window walls loaded at the cell and allowing movement at the header. However, the spandrel panels are rigid enough to take the wind loads and transfer them to the post-tension slab. The lateral force resisting system at the tower is a central core shear wall that allows for exterior pieces to move independently of each other during seismic event. Lateral forces will be resisted by, by coupled concrete structural shear walls placed around the central elevator and stair core of the tower. The wall coupling is provided by either diagonally reinforced concrete coupling beams or reinforced composite steel coupling beams. Geotechnical reports had indicated that a large portion of the site is assumed to be able to reach an adequate bearing layer such that the foundation will not be required. However, where an adequate bearing layer will not be reached, the foundations of 18 inches diameter piles will be used to support the building loads. Under the southeast corner of the tower mat foundation, it is assumed that rock will be reached at the depth of excavation. Given this, it was recommended the removal of the rock in this corner and backfill with material more similar in stiffness to that of other parts of the foundation to establish the tower mat foundation on a consistent subgrade modulus 
and control any differential settlement concerns. To sum up the structural system of the building, here is a breakdown of what the building contains with their respective proposed sizes. Feel free to pause now to read the breakdown. The building has other smaller structural design considerations that I have not talked about such as methods used to resist wind loads, reduce deflection, and control flatness. There is a lot to learn about the mirror tower in San Francisco from architectural to structural design. Also, it is important to note that this building is LEED Gold certified which indicates its excellent energy performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. See you next time!